What's going on, guys? Rhino Bones here with Rhino Review Stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's Free Day Friday, so I'm doing whatever I want. And today I'm actually pretty punctual. I've got this little guy here. It is uh, Buzz Lightyear from the new Buzz Lightyear movie. So I am actually pretty excited about this. Uh, these guys were like $9 at Walmart. I think it was a little bit overpriced, but it does look like he has some decent articulation there. So I'm not going to complain too much. Um, plus, he's going to look pretty cool up on my shelf back here where I've got all my Toy Story stuff. You know what? I got some Toy Story stuff over there. I got some Toy Story stuff over there, too. So, yeah, Buzz Lightyear, he fits right in. So, checking out the package here. It is a nice little blister pack. Disney Pixar Lightyear. Uh, Space Ranger Alpha. It's got several languages. It's Buzz Lightyear. It says Crystal Grade up at the top. I am not exactly sure what that means. I have not seen the movie, but it does look like there's a little blurb right there that I can't quite see until I tear this package up. Um, on the back here, it does have Helm in a pose. It's also got these two other characters. Um, it's Helm, just two different outfits. Let me zoom in right there. Yeah, check that out. So he's got like a yellow outfit and he's got a red outfit. I did see the one in the red outfit, but I'm more of like a movie person, so I went with the original flavor like that. Uh, what all does it say here? Each sold separately? That's about it. Let's tear this guy Oh, that's a good close-up. Let's tear this guy open. <laughs> Uh. Let's see, a little blurb in the corner says it includes Ivan plus fuel crystals. I don't know what Ivan is. Um, yeah, that's it. Includes Ivan plus fuel for it. fuel crystals. Um, it's also got this little card here on the pack. Let's see what this is all about. Nice glossy uh, crystal structure card. I have no idea, because I've never seen the movie, I don't know what this means, but it's nice and glossy and, you know, holographic, so that's cool. Um, I guess radiation and cubes? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what else we got here? Um, atoms and, um, I don't know, is that dopamine? What is that? Something. And on the back here, we've got a little picture of the XL15. That's actually kind of nice. I notice it's got some little cutouts here. I'm not sure what those cutouts are all about. Hmm. I don't know. So let's see here. Launch V490. Yeah, I, I can't actually tell what that's supposed to be. No clue. It's just a card. Peels away from the blister pretty easy. Check out those accessories. Good face there. Looks like we got his helmet. Neat that it's a separate piece. Shame about my focusing. Uh, we've got his blaster. That's actually a pretty nice looking chunky piece of plastic. Oop, dropped it. Let's see, you got a little bar on the side, I guess, so he can hold it like this and go pew pew pew. Um, not sure what that is. I'll assume it's a flashlight. I know, it's very uh, reminiscent of the laser pistols that are in the Fallout video games. Oh, looks pretty cool. Nice white and gray color scheme. No complaints there. And in this corner, we have a flavor crystal. Uh, yeah, I got no clue. Does that have anything at all to do with the movie? It's got a nice handle on the top so he can hold it. And yeah, it's a glittery piece of plastic in the middle. Looks neat. Kind of reminds me of the uh, dilithium crystal that comes with Geordie LaForge and some of the old 90s toys. Yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. I, I don't I don't know what the purpose of it is. I'll have to watch the movie. Now let's see here. Oh <laughs> incredibly loud. I apologize to anybody who's watching this that's wearing headphones. I'll do this a little quieter. <laughs> I tried at least. So let's see here. Wow. This uh this is a pretty loose figure. He's kind of a gummy rubber. Check out the knees there. They do bend. Uh, no ankle articulation. That, though, is incredibly loose. Like this thing right here. Yeah, I can actually twist off to the side. That's kind of neat. I like it. Uh, got decent mobility up there at the hip. Um, obviously, the same for this leg here. On the bottom of his boots, it does not say Andy. Let's see if I can focus on those. Zoom out a smidge. It does say a number. 
it says 343-108. Um, yeah, it doesn't say Andy. He's not Andy's toy. This is the real Buzz Lightyear, guys. Come on. Uh, zoom back in here. All right. On the arms, he can lift up there at the shoulder. He does bend at the elbow, and his wrists do rotate. It's just a weird rubbery material. I I don't know. It feels strange in the hand. It doesn't feel like a regular action figure. Paint application. Yeah, you can see there on the face, he's got a little bit of schmutz. He's got like a unibrow going on. Not a big fan of that. Paint on his armor here. It looks okay. It's very glittery. I'm not sure why it's so glittery. In the movie, does his suit, his uniform here, have lots of glitter? That's bizarre. Uh, let's see. He does rotate there at the waist, so good articulation there, and he can go all the way around, and he can sniff his own feet. Checking out the outfit. There we go. Zoomed up a little bit. Uh, let's see, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what any of these things mean. I think that's supposed to be like his insignia or something, I'm not sure. Got SR here, so Space Ranger there on the upper sleeve. It is a pretty good rendition. And no, I do not like this material either. Thanks for the, thanks for commenting. It's nice to see somebody in the chat. Uh, let's see here. This arm here, he does have his pistol finger ready, so he will be able to hold his laser rifle. On the back, of course, there are no wings. What is this hole for? Hmm. Does this go in there? No, it do not. There's got to be a reason for that hole. Do they have like an accessories pack that I'm not aware of where you get the wings separate? Or what? But, you know, maybe there's like a stick you stick in there? I don't know. Yeah, paint application, other than that huge unibrow thing going on on the face, it's pretty decent. Check out the little shield here for his face. How is this going to go? That looks about right. I'll slide that in there and slide that in there. Hey. It fits. It works. That's not bad at all. I like his helmet. I will probably be keeping that on. Let's see if he can carry this giant weird crystal thing. Ugh. Absolutely. So yeah, he's got the weird giant crystal thing. And the gun. Can he hold his laser rifle? Or pistol. Laser pistol. Maybe. That's kind of a tough one. It's like his hand's a little wide to fit properly there on the handle. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's going to be kind of loose. That's about as good as I can get. Doesn't quite fit exactly where it should. And uh, that is actually pretty cool, though. The finger does go right there in the uh, little, little doodad. So, yeah. I mean, looks good. I kind of like it. <laughs> it is. It is not, you know... The premium version. This is not a premium toy. Like I said, this is one of the cheapo ones. Gosh, it just... The plastic on it, it, it just feels weird. And it kind of looks dirty. Like the parts that aren't all shiny and glittery. Like it looks dirty. It's so bizarre. So the inexpensive, the cheapest one you can get at Walmart. The Buzz Lightyear from the new movie figure. It looks okay. I do kind of like it, and he is going to be pretty cool up there on my shelf. I would not be opposed to giving this to a child. It looks like it's probably going to last a little while. Uh, one thing I do have qualms about, though, these knees. These are going to be the first things to break. That is absolutely, positively going to happen. Um, you know, unless you're a collector and you put it up on your shelf. But there you go. This is Buzz Lightyear from the movie. And I do have to say, for ten bucks... Yeah, I think he's worth it. I definitely think he's worth it. Thank you guys for watching. Those of you who tuned in and participated in the chat, I do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, happy Free Day Friday, y'all, and I will see you later. Bye!